Hello everybody, good morning, and welcome back to How to Build a 105 Thunder Chief, 10 minutes at a time. Alright people, you ready for some drama? Not really drama, I just got a dilemma here. Glad I noticed it now, I wish I'd have noticed it a little sooner. But, <clears throat> I got the leading edge put on this wing and I started fitting it, okay? Well this one here fits pretty good on this one, okay? Got a little bit of a lip here and uh, seems like this wing is out of shape a little bit. Okay, but it fits good on that winglet. Okay, just got a big lip on this side. Okay. And this one here is an uh, inch too long. Bam. You guys see that? Really just want to show Butch. <laughs> this one is about an inch too long. Got a little bit of a lip here. Fits good on the other side. But if I just try and trim that off, then I gotta sand through this glass and just, just a bunch of work. Okay? Now, so I'm gonna show you guys this. Somehow this wing ended up with a warp in it. I noticed it when I was gonna glue on my leading edge, you know? So, I sliced it. Got it bent around straight. But, uh, Trailing edge is straight, leading edge is straight. Got to kind of check it for warps like this. Okay, and it's straight, but it just don't match up with them winglets. So this one, I can't really show you now because I got this leading edge glued on here. But it fits this winglet perfect. I mean just absolutely perfect. It ain't gonna need no filler nowhere. But on this one, it don't fit. It's too short. So this was my dilemma. Either throw all this away, but said, well, I'll just chuck them all, cut you some new ones. And I, you know, I figured he would. Because these are full symmetrical wings, okay? There is not a right and a left. He uh, didn't use two, he used the same program to cut them both. I don't know what happened. You know, he thinks we're cut a long time ago. So I think this is what I decided to do. Time-wise, work-wise, I think this will end up better. <coughs> okay. I'm gonna do my leading edge. Put it on here, glue it on, glue this wing on this winglet, okay. And I'm going to see how good I can get it. I'm going to make sure there ain't no warps in it, make sure it's all straight. And uh, then if it, if, it, if it looks good, I'm just going to go ahead and mold this one wing. Because see, there ain't a right and a left. The only thing different is the panel lines on the top from the bottom. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and mold this wing without no panel lines. Make me two new plugs, that way they'll be perfectly identical. The right and the left will be perfectly identical. And then, I'll, then when I pull my new plugs out of the molds, I can lay them up really thick, you know, and uh, then all I'll have, they'll come out pre-primed. All I'll have to do is put my panel lines on them. And time-wise, you know, I know you guys are thinking, man, that's a bunch of work. But, okay, my other alternative is to have Butch cut two new foam plugs, okay? Well, that's going to take him a while to do. By the time I get him to me, then I glass them, uh, get them all smooth, and, you know, that's another week when I can have these ready to mold tonight. You know what I mean? By Monday, I can be pulling the mold out. I mean, pulling the actual part Monday, Tuesday for my new plug. Uh, so, I think that's what I'm going to do. Butch kind of likes that idea, too. 
But there's only one way to see if that will work, and that is to go ahead and glue this one together and make absolutely sure that wing is straight and it's not warped to one side or the other. And uh, then I can do it. What I'll actually do is I'll put it in my plug and I'll put my incidence meter on it on the right and on the left and make sure that you know one of me twisted and I can get them both perfect. And that's only going to take me a day to check. So if I can get this wing perfect, that's what I'm going to do. I done decided. Then, you know, I'll know tomorrow. But, you know, all i got to do is glue this thing together and uh, put it on the plug. I'll know tonight whether I can use this to make me two new plugs. And I think that'll work. Much like that I did too. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this one. You know, the only thing different is the panel lines. And uh, so if I just get this all prime slick, and you know, I already got this one all smooth, man. That was a bunch of work getting it to that stage. And I hate to just chuck it and start over, you know, and all that sanding and glassing. And I think it'll just actually be easier to mold two plugs. So, I'm going to do it. I got my razor plane, man. I got this in just as perfect, man. I want you guys to see this, how fast this actually goes. And, and don't get sawdust everywhere. That's the best thing about a plane, man. It's just, look at that. Big old chunks, man. Just fast. A lot of you guys are well aware of the plane, and I've told you many times, but... There's some new people out there that just have never seen this. Man, I just took down a quarter inch off that end quick. Why not? The piece wasn't real straight at the time that happened. Just a couple minutes, I'll get this thing cleaned up. There's no sand and no sawdust everywhere. That sawdust cuts right through that epoxy. You guys got to use a plane on this stuff. Especially for you guys that build in your house and stuff. <laughs> These uh, sawdust don't get everywhere. I just finish it up with the old block sander. fan. I want to tell you guys, I want to give a shout out to Robert. What's up, buddy? He's uh, 14 years old. Just can't stumble across from our videos here recently in distant shock. Just loves them. You know. He says he hopes to do these big ones someday, but for right now he's doing foamies and that's just fine, man. You know, but he's taking all this knowledge in, and hopefully someday, oh, Robert will start building airplanes. Take what he's learned from, from me and pass it off to his kids. You know, that's what this is all about. It's all about you, Robert. That's why I'm here. This is why I'm doing this stuff. So let's have everyone, everyone out there around the world give Robert a big old shout out. He's 14 years old. Lives in Ohio. Glad to have you on board, buddy. Okay.